it's about that time. So I'm finally finna do it. I've had people asking me about it. Samurai build. I'm gonna show y'all what I did, how I got the weapons, how I played, all that. So, this is my samurai. Alright. Now, first thing you'll notice is he has his katana. So I figure I'll show you guys where I get that katana, but before I do that, let me show you some of the gear that I rock. Right now I'm wearing this uh, Suge Sas. What, what is that? Suge? Suge Gasa. Yeah, whatever that hat is and all that. I got the samurai robe top as long as well as the braces and I just got these samurai boots now I'll show you where to get those in a minute because they come with a full set actually let me show you what the full set looks like just so y'all know I ain't front yeah you want to look like a samurai there you go full samurai set all right I'll show you where to get that in a minute now the reason I use this set, for one, I, I kind of like the way it looks, but for two, it's lightweight, so I can still roll as fast as I need to. And if you guys saw my other video, I showed you how to make the Naginata, so that's my secondary, in case I need to poke something from long range or whatever. Alright, the rings I use, the bandage ring, because you're going to get hit, and when you get hit, it's better to not lose a substantial amount of your health over time through uh what's it i think they call it bruising or something like that but yeah i use the trickster band which basically adds dexterity all right a, a good amount of dexterity i also use the bright core ring adds willpower which is your stamina which allows you to attack and roll more and the fused metal ring that increases your endurance so you can wear heavier armor. That's like, those are my staples right there for this build. All right. So now let me show you guys where you get this katana. Cause somebody asked me if I had to make it and no, you do not have to make the, I forget what it's called, a Tachi, something like that. All right, so Red Hall of Cages, right? I'm not going to show you the long way how to get here. I'm going to just show you the actual area. And if you guys want to see the spear, this is what it looks like. It's a little bit heavier, so I roll a little bit slower with it. But it's still cool. Also, if you're wondering which creed I picked, I picked the Three Kings because basically this build was inspired by Onimusha. And anybody who knows Onimusha, he used to put elements on his weapons. So like, for example, with the Three Kings, you could have lightning or you could have fire. So it's nice to have both depending on the enemy. And watch. See this guy? Alright. That's one of the combos, by the way. It's one, two, three, over the top with triangle. And it comes down with it. Two, three. You could also mix it up with a stab. So it's like one, two, stab with triangle over the top of the other triangle. Alright, so right here, you see this thing on the ground? This is where you get the Tachi, I think that's what it's called. No, not the Nugget. Yeah, the Tachi. Alright. That's the Nagi. There it is. It's a class 2 sword. So I'll show you what I did. Basically, you can just get to class 2 and stop. And you'll be able to use it. So you don't have to put a bunch of points in strength and nothing like that. All right, so when you get to this area where you see these hangmen, all right, oh, shit. I'm about to get hung. Yep, I knew that was coming. All right, so that's that. Now. Let me show you where I got that arm. Oh, I can go here to show you where I got the arm. So you gotta unlock a couple brands to get to this place. This is the castle in the sky. For those who wanna get the samurai armor, you have to go through 
this place to get it. All right, see this skew? You gotta have that skew, the dough, you know, the air jump. You gotta have the one where you could walk on the clouds on the blue ethereal walls that turn into something manifested after you light your torch. I'll show you right now. All right, so first, you got this place. All right, this is why you need the double jump. All right, then you go up here. Yeah, I know it's a little scary. Go up here, you need your wall jump, of course. Make your way up to the top. All right, so this is where the bonfire is, sanctuary, whatever. Let me show you my tree skills. Now, I started off as a knight, okay? Because he starts off with a class one sword fighter, and you're gonna need class two sword fighter for the katana, remember that? All right, and what did they do? Sorry, I'm trying to rush through this because I want to get back to Dark Souls 3. So what you want to do, get you some heavy armor, always get endurance, all right? And you need to get heavy armor up to class three. Now you notice there's a couple things missing. I'll explain that in a second. All right, so at least up to three. I went all the way because I want more endurance and I want to be able to wear heaviest the heaviest armor I can while rolling the quickest. Now, to optimize, you use the gray pearls that you pick up, and I removed all the strength. None of my weapons use strength, so there's no reason to have them. When I get another gray, like right now I got a gray pearl, I may get rid of this one, but I may save it for later to get rid of like one of these or something, but as you can see, I stacked endurance, went for dexterity, all right? That's how the tree looks at the end of it. I went over here to get the light armor, class one, so I could wear the samurai robe and whatnot. You got me? But that's the build right there, man. I had to get pikemen. For one, pikemen gives you dexterity, so it's good to level that up anyways. But to use the naginata, you have to have pikemen rank three. So I had to get up there. Right now, I'm moving towards this. I'm gonna get this file there. Might get rid of that strength. But that's it, man. You know, you focus on dexterity, you focus on endurance. And that's your bread and butter. Willpower is always good because it lets you attack longer. And that's what it's about, man. See, see how quickly I roll? That's really good when you're fighting bosses, trust me. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments. If you like what you saw, you know, hit the like button. If you dislike it, you can go ahead and be a hater. It's all good. I still appreciate everybody who watched. So, until the next one, I'm going to keep y'all updated on any new builds I put together because I know it's a lot of Dark Souls 3, but I still got some Salt and Sanctuary coming as well. All right, y'all. I'm gone.